If a person is found to be an eligible claimant under Section 6, the court has discretion to make a Section 7 order for the claimant's maintenance, education or advancement. To determine this, the High Court uses a two-stage process. Firstly, the court will consider whether the claimant has been left without adequate provision for his or her proper maintenance, education or advancement in life. If this is the case, the court will then decide what provision should be made to the claimant out of the deceased estate considering all relevant circumstances. The operation of Section 7 together with the whole Act has triggered criticism, including that it facilitates greedy and opportunistic claimants rather than those who have a genuine dependency need on the deceased. Interstate law reform bodies have considered and in cases like Victoria implemented reform to limit eligible claimants and to establish mandatory factors for the court to consider before making an order. Under the Victorian Act, the court must be satisfied that at the time of the deceased's death, the claimant was wholly or partly dependent on the deceased for his or her proper maintenance and support, and that the deceased had a moral duty to provide for the claimant's proper maintenance and support. In the case of certain family members, such as adult and stepchildren, they also must show that they are incapable of reasonably providing for themselves.